He shared with me a few moments ago and um, very deep um, sharings that you were so open. You know, there's, um, I think there's an understanding that what I feel in you is this openness. And I don't know whether you're fully aware of how really open you are, but I, I feel it. And you share from a place that most people are not able to share from. Yeah. And that is powerful, mm, Lisa Nicholson. Yeah. You are powerful. I am. You are? I am. Yeah, so why are you here, Lisa Nicholson, on this planet? Because you may not have been. Although everything that I have been through in my life, I am here to give a message to people who could be in similar situations as I have in my life and to help them to get through that and to be better people for themselves. And and to make the world a better place. Yes. Yes, we'll drink to that afterwards, we'll have a cup of tea. Yeah. Now, are you prepared to share, and a slice of cake, I forgot that bit, a cup of tea, <laughs> a slice of cake. Are you prepared to share um, what, what you did with me earlier? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I first came here when I was 15, 14. Mm -hmm. um, I was a very troubled young girl. You know, I'd been living on and off the streets and, and in and out of domestic violence and incest and all sorts of things happening. And um, a couple of months ago now, I nearly lost my life. I attempted to jump off a bridge and the policeman had actually caught me as I was jumping. He caught my legs. Okay. So how come he was there then? The police had got called. Okay, so you'd headed out yeah. with the intention of doing this. Mm -hmm. And so you told someone that you were going to do this. Yeah. My father had suicided when I was six. And for a very long time, I blamed myself. And with all the trauma that I had happening to me, I felt that he did it because of me. And then there were times where I thought, maybe he's telling me it's fine. Maybe he wants me to do the same thing. And that was, I guess, a lot of the reason why I was on the bridge that night. Because you loved your father so much, you thought maybe that's what he wanted, he wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, I recognise that. Mm. I recognise you, it's an person. I see you. Brave, courageous woman. So, what are you going to do with your life, Lisa Nicholson, now? Um, I'm still on my healing journey. I got quite stuck into drugs and alcohol um, as a way of coping, a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. um, I've now been clean for three years. Wow. Yes. <laughs> um, and now I am just wanting to do everything I can to get the message out there and to help people and um, make myself a better person. I'm, I am a very strong person and I see that now and you know I have a lot to give to the world and that's why I'm here. You do! Yes! Yeah, we will dance after, we'll have a cup of tea and we'll dance <laughs> because there's dance music on that. <laughs> Good on you, Lisa Nicholson. Wow, <laughs> to recognise who you are in this world. Mm. To yeah. recognise it and feel it. Yeah. yeah. It only took me eight years, <laughs> seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Totally brilliant. Yeah.